Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? I'm carrying on from yesterday, we're going to go on and do a whole load more planting. I've just come back up to the top of the field that we were at. Well, I've come right back up to the very top of the farm. And you can see here, I'm just travelling down this way. I've set it up in the middle, so I'm just covering that area there. And I'm hoping that it will also reach over that far. If it does, we can do a single pass all the way down there. And then we'll just do a little bit of a tidy up there. And that will be all of this side done. We're then going to try and do some of these here. I'm thinking this one here, if we sort of started up in that corner, we could come out. Try and manually drive it all the way down to there. And then switch off and sort of turn and come around that way and go back up through it might work it might not i don't know it's going to sort of take a little bit to do uh, but it could be quite interesting to see if we can actually make it work or not so my question for this week is would you like me to do a little bit of a uh, tree planting right at the end of this series now it would be most likely just the last episode we'll plant a load of trees get as many planters as we can get going all at once and then see if we can um You'll see how fast we can get the trees to grow and see what happens with loads of trees growing. I don't think we are quite reaching it, are we? <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. Tiny little strip. Absolutely tiny, tiny little strip. Let's just move over here a minute and see what we've got on this side. So we've got plenty of room over here. So I think what we'll do is we will move over. We only actually want to move over um, maybe a tractor width, something like that. I turn that one off a second. And I'll use this here. And I'm just going to move it over that way. We'll go... Because I can see now where the tractor width is. So if I go like that, I think that'll be enough. And it's not going to bring it back too far on that side either. So I'll go back up here. And I don't want to go very far. I just want to make sure that I'm going... I can't quite see over the other side of the hill. That's the problem. Uh, that's... That should be far enough there. So we come back round and then control W to line it up. And I'll switch the machine back on from here. And it should gather that last little bit over that side. And then should carry on and plant the entire strip all in one go all the way down across the field. Yes, right. It's now getting all of it. And it's reaching over that side as well without too much trouble. So we'll just stop again and we'll take another look. So we're going to run over this side. See what's happening there. Right. That is fine. And yep, there's no problems there. That's meeting all of it. And we'll come back over here as well. Jump over this fence there. And that's fine as well. We, it's, it's less than it was, but it's absolutely okay. So it's going right the way across. Jump over the fence here. And again. Oop. <laughs> Went right through the tractor. And let's keep going. So we can get right down to the bottom here. It's not going to take very long to get down through here. And hopefully we're not going to make a beeline for the house that is... Actually, I think we are. I think we are now right in the path of the house yes this is smack bang in the middle of the house down through there so we do have that bit to take care of in a minute we'll worry about that when we get down there we're going to cover everything through the yard so if we've got anything tipped up anywhere in there it's now going to be all deleted same as it was over at the cattle yard where we deleted our entire silage clamp i mean that was actually okay it's just tidied it up quite nicely i thought and so over here yeah we are we're going to have to go the wrong side of this I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. I, you know, I didn't think this through. So what I'll do... Actually, I'm going to stop here. If I stop here a minute, and we lift this one up like that, I then move over this side. Actually, I'm going to go down to the to the bottom end because there's a piece down here that goes down a bit further on um, the map than the rest of it. So we want to get right down to that bit, and I'll go from there, and I'll just travel straight up in a straight line. And, yeah, I'll just go onto that road there. If I go out onto the road, turn around and set it down there, and then just go north from that point, and then we can turn around and we can do the same again in a minute. So if I just go to here, spin round there so that we get all of that bit, and point myself straight north there like that. Then I click on new and start. Lower it all down and start it up. There we go. Perfect. So it's going to... It's, oh, it's actually going right the way across the road and doing a little bit over there as well. So we'll we'll gather up this bit without any trouble. There's going to be a little strip down that side. 
there that we will then run down and we'll do that in a minute i'll actually i'll go this side of that fence and i'll run down through there because that will make sure that we get everything over the other side of the fence as well right down into that corner there which is going to be those sorts of corners are going to be the little bit more difficult bits to cover and so if we do it like this it will actually go through all of it quite neat and tidy without any problems go up through there just bring that one along there a little bit further and then we are done right excellent there's that bit now if i go this way i'll start from the bottom and i'll move actually do i need to do that but the way that it keeps going it just keeps spinning it round in a circle without stopping it just keeps going and going and going it's because of the immense weight of this seed drill i mean like i said i did increase the density of the seed drill because i thought it would actually help us out a bit and i'm starting to wonder if that was my best move i may i may perhaps have overdone it with the weight i mean it does it doesn't seem to be an issue when it's down in the ground when it's actually in the ground it's a good thing it works quite well so i'm guessing i kind i, I kind of did the right thing um it's just not it's, it's also as part of doing the right thing it's, it's done had a weird side effect in the way that it travels as you go along the um the, the way that it travels as you go along with it lifted out of the ground i mean um either folded up or just lifted up it does tend to push you round sideways an awful lot because of the increased weight of it and maybe i could compensate that by uh, increasing the weight of this tractor i've already increased the density of the tractor in the files and it does it has helped a bit it has made some alterations to it but i think maybe i could do with increasing it a little bit more now we've got a tiny little bit left there that is going to really frustrate me if we don't get it so i think actually if we just turn around and we'll do it from this way rather than um trying to go sideways on that bit if i go like that and then reverse back up through there there we go keep going keep going keep going and stop there do it like that there job done okay there's that bit done so we've done that half of the map that is now all done we've got this piece up through here we're going to get to that a bit later i'm going to go to this area here now so we're going to teleport ourselves up into that corner and we're going to try manually driving it down across there and see how that works out for us so if I go, I'm going to have to actually just get rid of the mod a minute so that I can make the map bigger and I can actually get to the bit that I want to get to, which is right there like that. It's folded us up. So we need to unfold, make the map smaller again, and then bring that one back. Right. Actually, no, we're not going to use that one. We're not going to use that for this. So if I go up here and I want to get it positioned just right so that we start moving out from this corner come up like that and spin round like that that's where i want to start and we start here and now we're gonna have to take this steady because as we if we do any turning as we turn it makes um a funny mess of it and it, it really does it makes an absolute pig's ear of it so if we're going to do any turning we've got to just do it really you can see i'm just very very gently doing a turn on this as i come round here so that I'm not going, I mean, we are, we're going both sides of the road at the moment, but I'm quite happy to stay like that. And then we can just sort of finish it off as we come back up through. So I just want to turn a little bit. It's going to be more difficult now because we're going a sort of slightly along a slope. And if I start to turn up the hill a little bit, it's going to try to push me down the hill. And I do need to turn back towards that road a bit more so that I can keep this going in a straight line. And I'm very, very conscious of the fact that if I turn too sharp, I'm going to end up leaving a whole load of bits behind. Slow down. Really slow down for this bit. I want to be able to get through here without throwing the angle of the tractor or anything else out of kilter too much. Has that worked all right? It has left a little bit, I think, over right over the far end just then. Because I did actually turn a little bit more than I was hoping. But it's working. We are doing this. It's actually coming down through here quite nicely and it's not quite it's not reaching over to the other side of the road anymore but because i'm no longer turning at all i'm just going in a straight line i'm hoping that it will reach that little bit there is it going to Actually, i don't think it will so i'm gonna have to just ease the steering wheel round i can i can ease it round if i go slow while it turns it should cover it i mean we don't have to be over that far you can see i'm just about covering the entire width of this now in a single pass so move down through there and is it going to get that last little corner 
That's the important bit up there. Yes, it's gotten all of it. Every single little bit of it. So we can move right down towards this corner now. And I'll stop right there. 18 frames a second that's dropped down to. So it, uh, because it's doing it manually and I am moving around the corner, it is really struggling to, to push it. And you can see the, uh, the slight turn that I had on that as I went through. So we just need to get a little bit here and then we need to travel back up that side just to finish that off. So to start with, all I got to do is take it to this point here and carry on. And we just got to, we just got to go slowly. We don't want to go too fast on this. It's down in the ground. It's going to plant 19 frames a second. It, it really doesn't like this, does it? I mean, I am it's using a huge amount of computing power. And because there is slight angle changes and everything as we're doing it like this, it is going to really make it struggle. Now you watch this. I'm going to be bringing that round the corner. I'm doing this deliberately slowly, but it's still going to... Let's go fast a minute, just around there like that. There, you can see the stripes and everything, and it's caused just on that last, the top little bit. Which is not really what you want to... That's, that's not what we're after. That's not the effect that we're trying to go for here. I just want to go... Actually, I can go in a straight line over there. If I go in a straight line this way... Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't go too fast. If we go too fast, it does start to try to tailspin and do strange things that should be okay we can go at a sedate pace along here we can go up to actually i can increase the rate a little bit and i go up to full speed just keeping it in a dead straight line along there get up towards that end we're going to have to sort of start heading around a corner in a minute which is going to make it a little bit more tricky and because obviously we still want to keep that even spread of seed and planting all the way across everything it did seem to do all right on the last pass. It, we seem to have covered most of it. So we, we don't really have any issues from when we first came up across here. Now, I'm just, I've slowed right down to a stop. And I'm very, very slowly going to go around this corner. Because of that piece right out there. So that it does make sure that it covers all of it with seed properly. And then we can just go this way. We should just be able to start speeding up a little bit. And I want to keep this in a straight line all the way up across here. This is the bit here. I think that field there, this field along this bottom edge, is going to be one of the most difficult bits to combine because of the hugely uneven terrain. That is going to be incredibly difficult to get the combine. The 90-foot header is just going to have the combine stranded, floating up in the middle of the air. So I am considering altering another, rather than using just the set distance of the 90-foot header, I'm considering getting a small combine with a small header and doing it like this so it just follows the contours. What do you mean you don't own this field? I own everything. No way. No way. It's, even though we've bought the field, it's still saying that we don't own it. It's coming up with just a piece here that it's saying that we don't own. That's incredible. I never would have guessed that it would do that. How much is it saying that we don't own? Is it? Oh, it might be because we're out over the edge. Yes, it's because I'm um, looking out over the edge of the map. So I'll have to go like that, spin round, and then try and go in a straight line, straight across here. And hopefully it will allow me to spread seed on just that little bit. It's, it's only that little bit there. It's because there's, there's a piece out the edge of the map that it didn't like. I never got, I didn't think it would do that. Right, so we have done that section there. That is all now done. And I think we will move. Can we get, is that going to do in one pass? That will certainly do in one pass up along uh, those pieces there. We will go to here. We actually want to go to that corner there next. Oops, I want to go like that. Uh, you know what, I better just turn that off and I will fold it up myself. Is it less likely to have any kind of crash or anything like that that is going to cause us some major, major issues? So, and that's folded, right, so we can come there, we press F11 to activate this one, and we jump down to there. Drump? Drump is a new word. It's kind of jumping and, uh, I don't really know. I was, I was trying to think of another, why did I say drump? I've got no idea. Jump, leap, throw ourselves, something like that. I'm sure of it. Right, we've got a kind of a, a glitchy weirdness going on underneath there, and I'm not quite sure why. I'm wondering if that is going to plant a load of seed there or not we'll we'll soon find out let's lower it down there we go and we start planting so we'll we'll find out we may have um barley growing up through the road on that bit which is 
It is a little bit unfortunate, but um, you know, there's not a lot that we can do about that. We're sort of we we are doing our best to keep this nice and even, and a neat and tidy finish all the way across. The re most of this is going to do in a single pass, but there's a little piece up in the top corner there that we're going to have to go back and we're going to get again, just there. It's only a tiny, tiny little bit actually. It's actually less than I thought. I thought that it would be a, a bigger sort of triangle across it. Are we going to reach the right? Yes, it does actually look like we're going to reach the bottom edge of the map without any problem. We just need to go to that piece there. Right, now I'm going to turn sharp, but I'm going to do this very, very slowly. We just gingerly inch round just like this. There we go. Bring it round. And is it going to plant? It's starting to really slow down. It's, it's surely got to leave some little patches out behind because that's a very sharp corner. So right on the edge of this, it's going to be... like It's covering a massive amount of ground, isn't it? So I'm, I'm sure that there must be some pieces that it's leaving behind. Uh, we'll do the same again here. Should I mean, it shouldn't actually be too much of an issue going this side because there's nothing to plant over there. But nevertheless, it's still it's still going to it's still reading across the whole map, and it's still trying to process all of that information all at once. So it it's going to cause some issues with it. So we come racing up across this side, and we're going to get the edge of the map up through there. But we've only got to get as far as this little corner here, so that we can fill this bit in, and then this field is then done. Let's go slowly now, and I'm getting a lot more glitchiness on this bit. So I'm going to turn again. Let's come around there. See, 15, 20 frames a second. I'm, I think in part it's because of the cows there. I think that is part of it. Because it's, it's happening when I'm looking. See, I, there's a big piece there that didn't get um, planted properly. Now, if we lift that one up. I'm going to go right down to the corner of this field and we're just going to check that everything right at the bottom corner did get planted properly and if it did, we'll move it to the next field and we'll do a single pass across that. It should be quite easy to finish off most of this down here and then we've just got the piece round the gorges for next week. So we'll come down here and this has all planted perfectly. We've got no issues here. So if I go through here and go across the train tracks and everything else, in a nice legal fashion, obviously, it's completely okay to do that. It's actually planted most of this okay. There doesn't seem to be any issues with it. So we set ourselves up in the middle of this one here like that and start it up again. And we just start uh, planting. We just travel down through here and it should plant okay. It's reaching right the way across down there, so it's, it's got a really wide reach on it. I still, I, every single time I move with this thing, I'm underestimating by a very, very long way just how far this sea drill is reaching out on each side. It is a massive amount of ground that it's covering. It really is. So we want to come to this point, and now we want to very, very slowly inch our way round so that we cover the edge of the gorge there, like that. And it's going to get the inside of that field. I can't actually get into that field because there's a fence there. So what we are going to have to do this time is I'm just going to bring this one round like that and just travel forward from there so that it gets the bit that's under the drill. There's only a tiny little bit there that needs to be done and then we can switch that off and fold it and then we need to teleport just to the other side of this gorge. Just to there like that. And go there. Unfold. And we'll start from this little point here. And that should cover all of this field. Yeah, that's going to cover that without any problems at all. So here's a fence right down the side of there. But we should be able to go all the way down almost to the very edge of the map. It's not going to quite get everything, but it's going to get most of it now. So we go that way. And I just want to go that way in a dead straight line. I could actually use the GPS mod to do this a little bit. I'm not going to. I'm going to freehand it still. I'd like to try to do free. I don't want to rely on the GPS to do everything. I'd like to be able to say that I've done some of this myself. So, I mean... So all of these smaller fields down the bottom, I feel it'd be really good. I don't know if we're, we're going to actually get to combining these fields down here. I might, you know what I was saying about having a small combine to come down through and use so that we don't have to sort of deal with the really, really uneven ground with the bigger combines? Um, I might sort of do all of this lower part of the map with a smaller combine. So it's, it's 
just like a quick pass through and then we use the bigger combines to do a couple rounds on the massive field at the top and using the bigger combine up there it, i think it could be a lot more interesting i think it'd be very interesting using that huge combines up there doing all that oh, there's another strip there that didn't actually get plowed there's a few little bits like that but generally speaking we did get most of the map we we did pretty good with it uh ooh, right there's a fence all the way around that so we're gonna have to stop and just teleport across the fence so we go here and i want to teleport to about there i think that's it perfect start unfolding and while that's unfolding i'm going to get to the top end here and i'm actually thinking that i'll go oh, i just want to go about here i think i don't know any further than that right there now if i back it up a little bit just reverse right to the very edge of the road like that and then we can start and i've got to take it you don't own this i'll oh, don't start that again and it's sliding sideways as well in a very bizarre fashion. Okay, so let's move over this side a bit further and see if we are any closer to owning our own land. We might have a patch here that we can't do anything with. Just because of the whole, you don't own this field, Malarkey. You don't own this field. Right, the you don't own this field, Malarkey, is causing us some serious grief. And look at that, look at the way that it's moving there. I don't know why it's doing that. That is very, very strange. It's not done that anywhere else. Even though we've gone over some quite uneven ground, it's not done anything like that anywhere else. Now, it's... it's uh, right, okay, I see what it's doing. So what we're going to have to do is just start on this side and move our way across. But we're going to need to move up just a bit so that we can um, access it. We want to go to there. And I'll reverse there. It does mean that we're going to have to go back across the fence in order to get that last little bit, I think. Go like that. It's Mr. Peace. It's Mr. Peace. It's not good. Let's try it again. There. Now it's got it. That's better. It's picked all of it up. And we come down here. So, yes, once again, the edge of this map is, is where the drill goes off the edge of the map. That it's saying that we don't own it. And that's obviously it's not very convenient for us, but you know, it's, it's not a major issue so It's not going to cause us any serious heartache But I think it's to do with the way that the edge of the map has been constructed just on this little bit now, If I turn here, it's going to say that I don't own the field part of it. I'm sure of it. It didn't Oh now it's saying that I don't own the field It's saying I don't own the field but from it while I'm going in this direction Let's try just bringing that one around like that. And I might be able to get most of... I don't own the field. I want to get that bit there. Oh, maybe I maybe I can reverse. If, if I can reverse that way and travel like this. Right, I can get some of that. I've gotten some of it. So I've just got a, I've got a little piece there that I want to get. So if I, if I move in this direction like this and I, I sort of... I'm going to keep spinning around in a circle here. Yes, this is how we do it. We just keep spinning around in a circle until eventually it decides that we do own something. Right, we have actually managed to... We've managed to spread seed on it. That's the important bit. We have ma we've managed to do something here, at least. You don't own this field. Oh, how I hate that sign. <laughs> right. If we can move down this way still... Oh, no, we do own the field. Now we do. Now we do. So we can move down through here. And we don't own the field at this end. There's another little bit that we don't own if I come up through there. I think that we may give that piece up as a bad job because it does... Oh, no, it's, it's letting me do it again. So if I, if I do this whole spinning in a circle thing, we may be able to get just that little bit. It's going to make me feel dizzy, this is. And it, it did do some of it. It did do some of it. So let's travel back this way. And it's, it depends now entirely on where the edge of the seed drill is running. If I move up like this... How much of this field do I not own? I'm pretty sure I must be owning some of it by now. There. All the way up there, goodness me. This seed drill really is quite big. And it's still saying that I don't own the field. Right, what we're going to do is... I'll move it up here like this and spin out of control wildly a few times. Because obviously I, I plan to do that. It's, it, obviously, you know, I, I, I wouldn't um, do something like that if I didn't plan it. 
and well, we are actually running out of time. I was hoping to try to finish at least all a bit on the bottom end of the map before we have to go. So if I do that up to there, up to that point like that, then we'll lift out of the ground and we'll come back round. And this bit down the bottom, we'll have to go right up to the edge of the map and do it from that direction, I think. It should work. I see no reason why it won't work. We've done this before. And there's some little patches there that are missing. So if I bring this over, I think that's probably far enough about there. Like that. Let it slide in and crash and we can try and straighten up. And then I want to go in a straight line now towards the edge of the map. And that should seed everything that is left. And it should allow us to own our own fields. There we go. Excellent. Now you've got to be very careful because I think it's this south edge of the map where there isn't actually... Oh no, there is a collision on there. Some of it doesn't have collision on. There was a few places where I actually fell off the map. What is that red line under there? Well, there's the water. There is a water plane on this map. So you... you uh, well, yeah, we know that because there's water up in the gorges up in the top end. Um, there's just no water in the swimming pool. The, on, the only sort of... It's, it's kind of sad, really, that there's no water in the pool. It, it does... It, an empty swimming pool always seems... I mean, you, you see these, like, different empty derelict buildings and that all over the place, and that's fine. E you know, there's all kinds of empty and derelict buildings, but to me, an empty swimming pool with, like, leaves and stuff in it is probably one of the the saddest sights that I will ever see. I, I don't know why. I've got no idea why I find that to be such a depressing... It is To me, it's a genuinely depressing thing to see a swimming pool that is empty. It's genuinely depressing. It, it, it really is. Now, if we can move this way. So I'm going too far on that, so it needs to sort of straighten up a bit. Straighten up and fly right. Move back like that, and we'll try again. Right, you don't own this field. That's fine. But I... Yeah, I do own that field. Oh, no, I don't, because it is, it's trying to move it sideways. So I need to... I need to back out here. Ah, there. It's because of the angle that I was at again. That angle is really throwing us, isn't it? I go like that. You don't own this field. And it's going to say that until I can swing that drill around there. Now it's, it's, it's coming through all right now. So if I can just slowly, slowly pull forwards. And just get that bit to the south end of the gorge covered. Yep, there we go. Right, now I can move over a little bit. And I can get the whole of this piece in one pass. Or I should be able to. In one single pass. Go up to there. And I reckon it'll be about from this point. Right here. This sea drill really is quite heavy. Because of, because of increasing the density. It's definitely made a significant difference to the performance and everything. Right now it's covering the end of the gorge over there. And it's covering that side without any problem at all. So we can do one single sweep all the way up across. And we've got another field done. It's really, really easy to drill like this. It really is. If planting was like this all the way through, it'd be so much easier. It really would. Rather than having to just go round and round and round, I'm sure there are many farmers in real life that would love to be able to get their planting done this quickly. I mean, look at that. We've done all of that all the way down through there. We did another section. We did a strip down through there. And we've done all of that down through there. And we've done this as well. We've done fantastically today. We really have. Now, I need to get over into field 24. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. So let's just travel and I think I can go straight across the gorge there. I'm going to try it. I'm going to jump the gorge, I hope. Let's see if it'll work. Is there water in here? I don't even know if there's water in here. Yes, there is water in there, but we got clear across it without any issues whatsoever. So I can lower the drill down there and just start moving steadily. There we go. And we're away. Perfect. Excellent. That's Now, that is the way you do it. That is, the, that is the proper way to go about doing farming. Clearing the gorge with the sea drill before you actually start. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Is it going to do all of this in a single pass? It might. There might be a little bit up the top there that doesn't get... Oh, no, it did. It got the whole lot. Everything. All the way through. And is it going to get everything here? One little bit there. Oh, it did. It did actually got the whole lot. Everything. That's brilliant. Let's just check here. And if I zoom in a little bit, it will allow me to look at the map a little bit closer. It got every single little aspect of it. Not one single piece was missing. 
Now, how do I get up onto that road? I think I need to go that way. So if I, I've lifted it up in the air, that's all I need to do. I can go through here. Race through this mud like this. Get round these trees. And does that fence go all the way around or is it just, is it just like a patch of it there? It's just a patch of fence there. But what about the lower end? I think I'm going to have to try and travel up the road now so that I can get into that field. I think that is the only way forward. Let's get up here. The weight of this thing and the, the um, extreme sort of overpower of the tractor is making this rather difficult to get round the corner at all. I'm having to go quite slowly. Bounce in through there. Round we go. And we're in. Right. We can head over to the midpoint over here. So, yeah, I will... I mean, head in the comment section and let me know if you'd like to see one more episode where I just finish this up. Because we've literally... We've got this field here, which I'll do most of before we go. And um, then we've got that one there. And we've got this piece here. That's everything done then. Now, if we go to soil composition... And we don't go to needs ploughing. We just go to the fertilised. It's just showing that. It's not actually showing the pieces in the middle. But I got a feeling that if we do spread fertiliser on the bits that are not fields, it will actually show up as fertilised. Yeah, because you've got there's some little patches there where it's showing as fertilised. Just the odd bit here and there. So if we were to... So, yeah, I'm thinking that we want to spread some fertiliser on these fields. And we've got plenty of manure at the cattle station, so we will be able to get some from there. So that's kind of one of the things that I'm going to be doing sometime soon is uh, spreading fertilizer over this. Because it would be nice to have a layer of fertilizer across the entire map. So we'll see if that, how well that all shows up once we finish doing the planting. But we've got to finish doing the planting first. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And yes, I did forget the weekly question. So my weekly question for this week is, would you like me to plant some trees on this map? To get some tree planters and plant as many trees as I can in... Well, I think we'll just do for a single episode. We won't do any more than that. So just plant however many trees I can in a single episode and then right at the end we will fast forward time as much as we can to see what happens to the trees and what happens to the frame rates and everything else. Um, I think it could be quite interesting. I mean we can have 10 hired help at once. So if I can find a mob that will plant trees faster or plant more trees all at once I could get a load of them. Get the 10 hired helps all going do a huge great big long line of trees. Probably across the top end of the map or something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, if you'd like to see that, then vote yes. And if you don't want to see that, then vote no. And um, obviously, head into the comment section. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. It is your vote. It is your game. Now, one last little bit. I said I might be able to finish this before the end of the episode. And I just might. Just, just might. It depends. Can I do this? I don't think I can do this in one pass. I think... I'm going to have to go down here, and then I'm going to have to come back up for a third pass. I don't think that this machine is quite wide enough to do all of it. You know what? I may have been wrong, because I've got way more over that side up here than I have down the other side. So if I go back up this way, and sort of roughly where I am now, spin round, I might actually be able to do this in a single pass. We come there. Like that. I'm going to start it here so that it does sort of straighten up. As it comes around, there we go. And that's covering everything over there. And this, just to make life a little bit easier, we'll do this last little bit with um, this one here. So we go like that and there. And we're away. Right. Let's go rollicking on down through here. Rock and roll. Is it going to get everything? Oh. Just. It's just covering everything there. And that side's no problem at all. You can see where the red lines are coming down through so that's no issue oh and the red lines you can see the red lines there now they're in right inside the milk unit there so we've got no issues there either so a single pass all the way down through cover all of this and then we'll be done so we've just got that little piece there and the rest of the big field up the top to finish and then that will have we will have planted the entire map with barley and interestingly we've only used so far 450,000 litres of seed. I thought that we would use more than that, but we haven't. We've, we've not used more than that. And I genuinely thought we would end up using 
um, at least a million litres. But we're not going to. Not at this rate. We will end up using, I would say, another 200,000 at most. I can't see that we're going to use any more than that. So we just very slowly come around the corner and we should get everything. There we go. That's all done. Right. Um, that's everything. Now, I will get over into there and I'll get set up. And then I want you to head in the comment section and let me know if you want me to finish this next week or if you want it finished before next week. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.